Year 2020 has taught us many new things. Our lifestyle has changed. We have adapted to many new and safe ways of livelihood. From social distancing to working from home, our main aim these days is to stay safe and avoid touching unnecessary objects. This project is an attempt to make a simple, touchless, cordless bell without spending a lot from your pocket. This video is sponsored by Elego Incorporation. Established in March 2015, Elego is a thriving technology company dedicated to open source hardware research and development, production and marketing. You can buy their products from Amazon all over the world. I'm going to make this project using the Elego Uno R3 Super Starter Kit. Using the promo code from the description below, you can get this awesome kit for a discounted price. For this project we need a Elego Uno R3, ultrasonic sensor, IR module, RF transmitter and receiver modules, antennas, LED, 220 ohm resistor, 100 microfarad capacitor, buzzer and a relay module. I'm going to show you guys few different ways of making the touchless cordless bell using the Elego Uno R3 kit. First, let's put together the transmitter side using an ultrasonic sensor. Connect the echo pin to D2, trick pin to D3, ground to ground and VCC of the ultrasonic sensor to the 5V pin of Arduino. Then connect the data pin to D13, negative to ground and positive pin of the RF transmitter to 5V pin of Arduino. Finally, connect the ANT pin to the antenna. The exact same setup can be used for an IR module, however, IR sensor may not function properly on a hot sunny day. You may hear phantom bell rings due to hot temperature interfering with the IR module. Plus, ultrasonic sensor has a longer range than IR sensors. So I'm going to use the ultrasonic sensor based setup for this project. Now for the receiver bit, connect the antenna to the ANT pin of the RF receiver. Then connect negative to negative, positive to the 5 volt of the battery. Then you can use either one of the data pins for this project. Place the 100 microfarad capacitor between the data and the negative pin of the receiver. Now we can either attach an LED, a buzzer, a homemade DIY relay module or an off-the-shelf relay module to the negative and the data pin of the RF receiver. For this demonstration, I'm just going to use an LED. If you want to know more about relays and how to make a DIY relay, please check out my tutorial number 4, Driving a Relay with an Arduino. Link is in the description below. Now let's assemble all the parts as per the schematic. I really like the way I can just plug and play everything using this kit without worrying about soldering. Start the code by defining the variables and the pin names that will be used throughout the code. Then in the setup section, define the pin modes. Now in the loop section, calculate the distance in inches by reading the values received by the ultrasonic sensor. If the distance is less than 20, then transmit a signal to the RF receiver. Now if you replace the LED with a relay module, you can turn your wired doorbell to a wireless touchless doorbell and make your neighbors jealous for not having one. In the final version, my plan is to add a solar charging panel to charge a 18650 battery for the transmitter circuit. If you want to know how to create a solar charger, please check out my tutorial number 2, DIY Solar Battery Charger. Thanks again for watching this video. I hope it helps you. If you want to support me, you can subscribe to my channel and watch my other videos. Thanks. See you again in my next video. Bye now.